Alright, all set up. Air running. Nothing to really surprise anyone here. Except for maybe the fact. That I'm at a Bucky's. We like to travel. Sometimes we do it by RV. And you can watch it on my channel. It's my channel, Dad. Welcome to Tree Talker the Traveler. A DC to DC charger may serve you better, even than solar, if you travel like we do. We recently stopped at a Bucky's and spent a couple hours with the air conditioning running in our unit. By the time we got two hours down the road, it was fully charged. I thought I would try a different experiment this week where we stopped for a longer stop at a Bass Pro Shop and see if it could charge up before our next stop. So we set up, turned on the air conditioning so our little dog would be comfortable. Then we went shopping at the Bass Pro Shop and had dinner. So I'm heading back to that camper way over there, other side of that, all the way on the other side of that parking lot. Um, we just ate at a steakhouse, uh, really good. We always stop here um, at this particular one, park at the Bass Pro Shop, do a little shop in there, get a couple steaks. We've been away from the camper for a couple hours now, uh, dogs inside. According to my waggle, it's nice and cool in there. That's real handy. I don't, when I walk away, I don't have to worry about it. So, uh, I thought she was calling me, baby. Uh, so that is uh, fine. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna check it out and see see how it's doing on battery life and talk right about here. the DC to DC charge. Right. So I'm back at the camper. Gonna check inside, see how cool it is, and we're also gonna check and see what the batteries are at. Just checked on the Victron app. About 52 percent of the batteries left. Air is blowing nice and cold. Feels good in here. Hot out there. Cool in here. Really hot outside today. Um, I'm about to just start setting up, bring it in, and we're going to turn on the DC to DC charger while we're traveling and see how much we charge back up the battery just in our next leg of travel. I'm now going to do the next thing. Go ahead and turn off the inverter. I'm going to go ahead and connect the fuse so now that our Victron DC to D char charger is ready to go. The DC charger is connected to the truck right here. And it's connected to my battery right here with a fuse right here uh, heading towards the back. I'm at a truck stop here in uh, just past Asheville after leaving um, the Bass Pro Shop just near Knoxville and checked the batteries on the DC-DC charger alone, not connected to the solar right now, 100% charge. Don't know when it reached 100, but that'd be a very short drive day. So it just tells you from below 50% to 100, just a couple hours. So in summation, I think that some people will find a DC to DC charger a better alternative than solar. Now we have both and they both have their advantages. The solar is definitely the better option for when you're boondocking or sitting out for a long time. But if you're traveling like we do, like to pull over and use your camper, run the air conditioner uh, so your pets can stay cool and then move on, a lot of times the DC to D charger will do a better job. If you're considering getting solar right now and don't have a DC to DC charger, you may wanna try that out first. It's a whole lot easier to install and has its advantages depending on your way of traveling.